Hello, welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft Season 4 with me, Fall Symmetry, and today we are climbing up where the jellyfish is gonna go. I'm very, very excited. But today we need to gather a whole bunch of materials. We need to make sure we've got everything ready to roll. And look at that path back there. That is what we've been working on. And I really want to work on that a little bit this episode so that we can kind of get everything looking green, lush, and awesome. Which is exactly what we need the place to start looking like. Because right now, other than that path, it all looks just a little, a little bit naff. Right. So what we're going to do is a little bit of a time lapse before we start with the jellyfish or start getting materials ready for it. Uh, we need to uh, mess around with those, making those look awesome. So I'm going to time lapse uh, a little bit of terrain stuff, a little bit of... Uh, what, 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 what do I even want to call that? I can't even think of the word. Basically want to play with the ground a little bit. I want to sort it all out, make it all look awesome. At least kind of just in front of my uh, my bridge, so that at least when I do start building this, the time lapse is from from looking at this thing being built will look awesome as well, and it won't just look like I'm building something cool and then the rest of the land looks really, really rough and ready. But yes, guys, you may have noticed that yes, I'm using Faithful 32. Oh, but it's back! It's back. My sky texture isn't quite back just yet. Hopefully, I'll get that working in a little bit. I uh, haven't even looked at how to get that in the pack yet, but I will do that uh, ASAP, so don't you worry about that. But anyway, uh, while there aren't too many mobs out here, I'm probably going to have to go collect some uh, some dirt in a second. I'm going to snooze for a second, go collect some dirt, and then we're going to work on what on earth is going on here and hopefully do a little bit of a time lapse on it because... Oh, we need to start prettifying the area rather than just sorting out our base. This is not in a rush. We're not in a rush. We've got a base down here for now. So we're not in a rush. And I don't want to have to rush the jellyfish because the jellyfish is going to look awesome. But yeah, I've worked out the height of it. It's going to look pretty sweet. And I'm very, very excited. Okay, so back in my creative single player world in the Mesa. And this is what we built last time, and it looks okay, it looks okay, but I have been tweaking it a little bit, and I'm getting the shape a little bit better. I've basically seen how you do it now. Uh, and basically, you go around in circles like, you know, normal, you kind of add a few layers in. If you guys have ever done circles, it's kind of difficult to make them a little bit wobbly. It's really, really easy to make proper circles in Minecraft. But when you want to make them a bit wobbly, you come, in, come in out in certain directions a little bit more than others, it, it can be really difficult to uh, actually visualize. So, uh, this is why I've been kind of doing it. But yeah, so I've been doing that a little bit, and now I've started going down by two here and two here, and you can see already how the shape of the jellyfish is going to work a lot better. It's going to come down here, and then going to come out a little bit more, and it's going to curve underneath a little bit, I think is that, that's, that's how it's going to work, because I've been looking at images of jellyfish, which is what I hadn't been doing, I hadn't been doing that, uh, I should have done that in the first place, that would have been a good idea, but yes, I said that we were going to look at some colour schemes, so that's what I'm going to do now, I'm going to lay some out uh, down there somewhere, uh, but I really, really do like the blue. So the idea with the blue is that it's pretty much going to be mostly blue. We are going to have probably some uh, some cyan and dark blue coming through it. Uh, I really, really like what I've been doing with this colour clay behind it. With the, if I can reach it, the dark blue. So if we haven't spots this every now and again. That might look quite nice. So that's quite nice, but I want to make some more colour scheme options, and then I really, really like this colour. This colour is just absolutely perfect. This is the colour I was planning for the tentacles. Uh, there is kind of an orangey tone as well. I might use that possibly instead, but 
Yeah, I don't really want it to look too neon. That's the problem. So it's either those two and then these. So let's make some more of these, guys. Uh, and then maybe what I'm going to do for this video is have a little voting straw poll thing down below where you guys can vote for three different options, perhaps, of color schemes for the jellyfish. And then we're going to go with that. They're probably not going to be too different. I would like a blue jellyfish. But uh, yeah, so um, I'm going to work on that a little bit, we're going to work on some colour schemes and then I'm not going to build too much more of that because I want to do it in like real life, I don't want <laughs> to recreate the whole thing uh, all over again, that's going to suck. So let me get on with this and I'll bring you guys in when I've got some colour schemes for you guys to vote on. Okay, so it has started to look pretty awesome, it really really has. I am very kind of happy with it. I think it looks okay. Uh, I think people might come along and tweak it and add things and change things around as we go along. But hey, I need something for now just to kind of make it look a little bit better, a little bit more like kind of finished. Uh, kind of joining up different roads and different things like that uh, as we go. And I thought, you know what, why not add a bit of grass as well? Kind of make this area look a little bit kind of swampy a little bit actually. Uh, it kind of looks a bit swamp-like. But uh, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm going to get rid of all the flowers. I don't want any of those guys in here. We don't want it looking too bright and fancy, especially as you go up to mine, because the jellyfish is going to be the thing that stands out. And uh, don't really want much. I mean, I guess I've got loads of flowers on the uh, on the bridge, but uh, up to, going up to it, I don't really want much going on if I can help it. Uh, I pretty much got rid of all the grass except for one there and there as well. So uh, I'm not going to go too close to XP Crafted's uh, base, which is this one over here, if you guys don't know already. Um, because obviously, you know, don't want to tread on anyone's toes and he might be planning stuff and doing things and yeah, I don't want to go near that too much. So he's busy doing stuff there. I'm busy doing stuff over here and uh, I think it looks pretty cute. I think it looks pretty cute. Now, lighting. Now, I went up to Azuma's house all the way over there in my live stream and I really, really, really liked how he did the lighting. He basically put, let's remove this actually, he basically put glowstone and then a trapdoor right on top and I think it looks really nice actually being just like that simple because you can use trap doors now I mean I might change them for jack-o'-lanterns possibly you guys know what I'm like oh, I don't really like how that kind of comes out on the side there though that is one thing I'm not too keen on let's get rid of that guy got an extra one there but yeah I quite like this I didn't really like how he had it lined up like they're all pretty much following the path really like quite like like in a uniform but um, I do really like how it looks. I'm hoping that if I do this a few times, I'm doing it in the clay more than the grass. I feel like that is going to work best. And then we can kind of do it as we go along a little bit. And uh, that will be good for like a temporary path. I mean, I, we're probably going to change it in the future. I don't know. Maybe we'll do like, pro put proper roads in uh, and things like that. But for now, I think this looks pretty cute. So I'm going to add a few more bits of lighting here and there just to get the kind of depth going and the lighting going a little bit more. Uh, so we can remove some torches, and uh, I think it looks pretty, pretty adorable. And I did a whole bunch more on the, uh, on the clay, and as you guys can tell, it's all hard and clay around here. I made it all hard and clay, and it really does make a difference. Like, I'm really happy that I did that, because I wasn't really sure about it. I'm sure this area is going to be terraformed anyway, but everything's just way smoother, and it just looks nice for now. So I'm happy about that. So hopefully things will look pretty good when people come over and we got the jellyfish done but uh, now is the time to sort out color schemes because as much as the jellyfish is kind of we got a bit of the shape done last episode I want to work a little bit on the shape again and I want to work a little bit on the color scheme uh, because the one that epic uh, mouse uh, sent me um, the color scheme's nice I want to see if there's another option because I, I don't really I like to use the least amount of inspiration from someone's build as possible but this one's just so accurate and so lovely the jellyfish that I really just want to recreate it but I'm gonna try not to I'm gonna try and like kind of add my own twists on it and things like that especially on the interior I, I can easily do that and uh, yeah it should look pretty cool Okay, so in my live stream I worked a little bit more over here in my single player creative world and I've got three options for you guys which I want you to vote in in the straw poll it's in the straw poll in the straw poll in the description uh, below it should be pretty high up in the description if not I will like 
paste it in the comments, I guess. I'm not even sure. But we have three options for the jellyfish. So the way I've done this is the three by three uh, blocks of color there. This is basically this. Uh, this color scheme here is basically this color scheme here. So you can see those three by three there are like the main glass of the jellyfish. Behind it is the clay. So you can kind of see through what it's going to look like. Uh, on the right hand side, this like pink color is the tentacle color. We also have this color here, glass, as like the, I don't even have it here, but like stripes or like zigzaggy stripes kind of coming through it or like the ring around the bottom, like little details like that. So that's basically what this represents. So we have option one, which is a green color, which uh, I've made this all grass here because that's what my uh, my area looks like. It's not got yellow clay, it's got hardened and around the edge and grass. It's also going to have some leaves and not even, that looks really bad. But you know what I mean, like it's meant to be symbolic of a, some like seaweed and stuff under the sea. I might go with that idea or maybe I'll make it a bit more kind of like trees and mushrooms and stuff like I mentioned before. Uh, so there's that. That's option one. A uh, lo lot of greys and stuff behind it being green and then lots of detail with greens and uh, with grey tentacles, which is a bit different, a bit kind of weird. Uh, we then have this, which uh, I'm not sure if it's going to stand out quite enough, but it is definitely an option. So it's a very, very orangey, ready jellyfish with uh, yellow details and red tentacles. Um, although the problem with it is that from like the side, I don't know if it's going to be too close to the actual mesa in color. But we also have the same issue with this in that the blue is quite sky colored. I mean, when you're over there, you should be able to see it. And once there's clay behind it, you should be able to see it a little bit more, and it does glow quite nicely. We're kind of in midday. Well, not midday. We're at... Is the sun going up or sun going down? I'm not sure. Sunrise or sunset kind of time of day, which is when it's the most like the sky. So, mm, don't know if that's a big issue or not, but that is option three. So, we've got one, the green, two, the orange, and three, the blue, with the pink tentacles. I was going to go with orange tentacles, but I didn't want to make it too like in your face you know I don't want to make it too neon that's definitely a problem that's why this one has like greys rather than the green glass because the lime, lime green is very very neon especially with the green clay behind it but anyway that is the vote for you guys today so do be sure to click the link down below and vote on that in the straw poll so you guys have the choice of what color jellyfish we have which is super exciting I really, really want to bring you guys in for more voting on my builds because uh, it just brings it in and uh, you guys when I'm not so, so sure about what to pick you know it gives you guys a little bit of uh, feedback uh, in like vote form which is very, very easy to do it takes two seconds out your day and there we go uh, I think it looks cool so let me go on uh, work a little bit more on this perhaps bring in some other different kinds of floor designs and then that next episode we will be starting on this actual build on Hermitcraft which I'm so excited for so so excited for Okay, so I've been working a little bit more on what I'm doing here. These are just like color schemes, they're not actually mushrooms. This, however, over here is a mushroom. Uh, kind of a big one. It's also wrong. This needs to move inwards this way. That basically there needs to line up with the edge here. So that needs to be a lot more in. Um, and that needs to be a lot less like it is. Yeah, just don't you worry about it. it. It'll look okay once I make it for real. Uh, we'll probably do, build that bit first and then that bit. I feel like that's going to work a whole bunch better. I did it the other way around. Uh, so these are inspired by, if you guys have ever joined the Emerald Isle server, they have a lot of mushrooms. And I, I went on there and I was like, dude, yeah, these mushrooms are totally neat what I need. Because I knew I needed ones that were kind of like, looking like they were kind of falling off, you know, the side of a cliff or whatever. And, you know, I kind of want some smaller versions of this, though, and I'm not sure how to make them. So I don't know if any of you guys are good at making organic mushrooms, but feel free to send me a picture of them, because, yeah. And if you guys do ever send me a picture of one of those, send a photo of the side, like, the top, and then kind of just an overview, because... It's so, so difficult to, like, recreate things from uh, images sometimes. So, yeah, um, I've basically, well, I've decided that we're probably going to use, like, this as, like, you know, the spots. But I'm keeping it all red because it's going to be the easiest to recreate. So I think that, uh, yeah, for the red we're going to do that. For the blue, mm, I guess we could do that as well. I think I might use lapis. I'm not sure. That, that's what they've used on the thing. Uh, I don't really, because I don't really want it to look quite like B 
the jellyfish, because uh, obviously that's going to have this colour in it. But maybe those two. We could possibly as well do a, a lime green one, perhaps. I'm not quite sure. I kind of think the green's probably going to work best for... Um, for the actual like ground and like seaweed and stuff like that we can use that for like the seaweed and things I don't know what I'm doing here I can't build organic things you guys know this uh, but yeah little bits of seaweed uh, up and around and things so maybe see we'll mix seaweed perhaps if we do seaweed we'll probably do all this stuff first so we want it to look like a magical kingdom right so we want mushrooms anything else that you can build quite small like no no bigger than this uh, what? Give me ideas, guys. Anything I can build that's kind of... I mean, I think a custom tree is going to look good, so I'm thinking that mushroom could go, like, here kind of thing. Probably a little bit further back, maybe that back corner. Maybe a custom tree in this corner to give it a bit of balance. And then some small trees, some, more, some smaller bushes, and then a, like, circular area in the middle here in the ground. Um, that kind of goes around the entrance which uh, you can see I've been testing out here a different kind of uh, tentacle where this one looks a bit too much like a building um, support which I don't really want it to look. I want it to look as natural as possible so this one here kind of works a little bit more like a staircase a bit more of a helix kind of deal so I'll probably work on that. I think building the top bit is the main issue that's what's going to take a long time so we'll do that in the next episode even if it just has to float there uh, if we don't have enough time to do the rest but I think I'm probably going to have to head on the server and collect a whole bunch more sand as well, by the looks. Because I have got a chest full of sand, but I only have about this much glass that's all ready to roll. I think I might have some more in here, perhaps. So we'll quickly check if we do have any. Because otherwise, in the live stream probably tonight, we'll collect some more. No, actually, you know what? We have quite a lot of glass. I don't know how much... This will reach. I feel like we have got quite enough, actually. You know what? I think we're probably ready to roll. I'm going to put a whole bunch more of this glass in here, ready to roll when we need to dye it up. But I think the most one we'll need is the light blue, which I obviously need to get a whole bunch more of. So I'm going to do that real quick. We're going to dye a whole bunch more of this. And then we're going to start from the top up there, building the shapes downwards. So that's how we're going to be able to check if it look, is looking natural. As soon as one row isn't natural looking and doesn't look right, we can then change it and tweak it as we go. Because I'm not building any more of the Jellyfish and Creative. That is all I'm building. We are going to just roll with it. We're going to go with it. We're going to hope that it works. And only if I'm stuck will I be like recreating a whole bunch more in Creative uh, to get it completely perfect. But... I think we're okay. I think we're gonna be okay doing this. And uh, yeah, let's just chuck this glass in here and hope that we have enough for the next episode. So as much as this may not have been a super eventful video, we have got everything we need prepared. I'm sure if there's something I'm gonna forget. You know what, let's have a quick check in the, uh, the clay chest. I think we might need to do some more dyeing of this, but you know, if we do have to collect some more of this, that's fine. Uh, I think we're going to do glass first, then go along the interior and uh, put all the clay in. And then we're going to start on the tentacles and interior of the glass dome. So that is basically my plan of action. So let me know what you think down below. Let me think. Let me know what you uh, what you think I should add around here. I want to make it as mystical as possible. Uh, I might even... Once this is done, add some particle effects around it. Probably not the water particles like I did in the last season because I feel like they were a bit too opaque. I really want something maybe just like floating glass particles or something like that. Maybe some bubbles. Anything like that that you guys think would work with this, let me know down below before I record the next episode. That would be very much appreciated. I'm so, so excited about this project. I hope you guys are too. It's completely different than anything I've ever built before in Minecraft. So I'm so excited about it. I'm just, I'm just really, really excited, basically. I'm hoping it's just going to work, because I'm nervous that it's not going to work that well. But, dude, we have some some competition, especially over there with those custom trees, man. Uh, we need to, uh, you know, pick up our game, make our base look super, super awesome. We need to beat XP Craft. We need to beat Scar. We need to beat Cub. No, it's not, it's not a competition. But uh, <laughs> we do need to make a cool-looking base so that hopefully our neighbours won't hate us when they realise that I've built a giant jellyfish. 
next door to them. So hopefully that works out well and nobody hates us because otherwise we might be a little bit dead. But that is sadly it for this episode, guys. That's all I have time for today. And I will catch you guys in the next episode of Hermitcraft where we're going to build a jellyfish. I'm so excited. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.